Hi everyone, thanks for taking a few minutes to view this video. It was fall of 2012 that we asked each of you to give your input and ideas on our Bontang corporate culture. We wanted to know what's working and we wanted to know what we need to work on. We heard from all areas of businesses and many of you shared some very candid comments on how you feel about the culture in our corporate offices. Over the last year, we have been reviewing and discussing all of these comments. In early 2013, we formed our culture committee. It's actually several committees, and each committee is focused on a specific topic related to your feedback. Categories range from respect, collaboration, innovation, workplace environment, communication, and recognition. Our mission was clear. We want Bonton to be a great place to work. Over the past several months, our committee members have been researching and discussing ways to put our culture in action. I hope you've noticed some of the work from these committees. Some are small, as simple as clocks and conference rooms. Others larger. For example, we provided your feedback to each senior vice president and vice president, and they either have or are in the process of developing action plans based on what you said you wanted to see done differently. Keep in mind, this is only the beginning. Changing culture takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes effort. I think you can all agree that this is a task that is worthy of all three. Today, we kick things off with the introduction of our culture credo. A credo is a set of fundamental beliefs or guiding principles. It is something similar to a culture mission statement. All of our actions to enhance our culture will stem from our credo. And here it is, our credo. Bonton, where integrity, innovation, collaboration, and passion are always in fashion. We also established rules to live by. And although the word rules conjures up some negative connotation, we all know that we need guidelines in order to remind us of what we should aspire to. For as I noted previously, we have to put our culture into action. Therefore, each element of our credo is accompanied by a corresponding aspiration and action. Integrity, walk the talk, innovation, dare to try, collaboration, succeed together, passion, love what you do. Over the next several months, we're going to focus on each of the particular elements of our credo. We believe we have some activities that will truly make you a partner in building our culture. You'll be able to learn more about all of this very soon. I have one request after you watch the rest of this video. I want each of you to ask yourself a simple question. Am I living each element of our credo on a regular basis? If the answer is yes, thank you. Keep it going. If the answer is no, then let's learn together. Let's discover new ways to live our credo every day. Remember, changing culture is a marathon, not a race. Stay tuned. There's more to come. And keep watching the rest of this video to see what others have to say. Thank you. Integrity to me is what happens during those projects when no one's standing there watching over your shoulder. So whether it's for your peers or your supervisors, make sure you're tracking down the best answers. Success may come and go, but integrity is forever. You deliver on your promises. You keep your word. You're deliberate with what you say and you ensure it's fair, it's just, it's honest. It's being the person that others look up to because they know they can count on you. It's integrity. Albert Einstein once said, we cannot solve our problems with the same level of thinking used to create them. What he's referring to here is the power of innovation. Innovation is about invention. 
invention of new ideas, invention of fresh methods, essentially invention of change that will lead to a solution for a better tomorrow. Innovation takes place in my everyday work life with basic tasks. For example, it can be taking an outdated form used by my partnering teams and I and updating it in a way that will allow us to better communicate with one another. Or it can be finding a new way to get collateral into stores quickly and efficiently, all while saving the company money. Whatever it may be, innovation is about a positive change that will not only enrich your life, but the lives of others around you. It's not just the how or the why, it's the feeling it creates. It's the inspiration to do more, to make it bigger, to make it better than you've ever seen, heard, or felt before. It's something new. It's the wow. It's innovation. Collaboration to me is all about uh, treating everybody like they're included in the office. Um, and investing in everybody's ideas and opinions, making everybody feel like they're a part of the office. How do we do that? Uh, step one to me is really um, sitting down in an office, uh, getting everybody in the office, sitting them down and kind of talking about what's going on in business, making everybody you know, well aware of the decisions that we're making together, um, everybody's included on them. Their to-do list, making everybody feel like everything that's on their to-do list and their priorities is crucial to what we're doing and they're, they're a, a crucial to our, our office. Um, two is really you know, including them in on um, you know, sitting down once a week and having lunches together. You know, it seems very, very simple, but it, it makes everybody feel like they're a part of the office. You know, those are two of the big, big things that we do together. The last most important thing is we make every decision together. You know, no, no decision we make is in a vacuum. I don't make the decision by myself. It affects the company, it affects everybody in my team. So that goes from the planning aspect to advertising to visual to the product that we pick. Everything is done together. A stick. It's brittle, even fragile. And alone, you can snap it in two. But a bundle of sticks together cannot be broken. The secret is to gang up on the problem, not each other. It's collaboration. My passion for retail goes back to my first job at the local bicycle shop when I was 13 years old. And I know that that passion will continue long after I retire retail as a professional. I am fortunate that my passion for retail is matched by the passion of my team members as well as our very passionate leaders. It is written in our meeting agendas, it is discussed in our touch bases, it's part of the culture in which we work. As individuals, our passions vary in focus and intensity, but as a team, we have learned to take these passions and direct them to the better of the team, the better of the customer, the better of our company. It starts with believing that you can achieve great things. A great dancer is not great because of their technique. They're great because of what fuels their steps. It's the fire within. The French say it best, joie de vivre, joy to live. It's passion. This is our time. It's time for each of you to think about who you are and who you want to be. It's time for you to think about where you want to go and how you want to get there. It's time for all of us to understand that success doesn't just happen. It's not one person or even one small group that determines our bottom line. It's all of us, together, a collection of creative, dedicated, and ambitious people. Strong business grows because of one reason. It has great people creating the results.